How's it going everyone and welcome back to LT3D. Flash Fortress just released something that all Adventure of 5M series owners have been waiting for and of course they release it the day before my 5M review video was scheduled to release. Anyway, let's talk about the new Orca Flash Forge and Flash Maker. Now, if you haven't heard of the Adventure of 5M, then let me give you a quick rundown. Basically, at the end of last year, Flash Forge released two new 3D printers, the Adventure of 5M and the Adventure of 5M Pro. These printers are their first real high-speed Core XY 3D printers and their response to Bamboo Lab. The printers are both fantastic, producing great quality prints and being compatible with both their own flash print slicer and the widely popular Orca slicer. However, until now you have not been able to send prints wirelessly to the printer through Orca slicer or remotely view the camera. With the release of Orca Flash Forge, you can now do both these things, making both these printers real Bamboo Lab competitors. But it doesn't stop there. Not only did Flash Forge release Orca Flash Forge, but they also finally released a mobile app for remote monitoring called Flashmaker. I'll create a dedicated video walkthrough on that in the near future, so uh, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications if you're interested in that. There is also one big thing that I mentioned in my 5M review, which I believe is now confirmed to be coming. I mentioned that they may release a multi-material system in the coming future, and if you open Orca Flash Forge and head to the device tab, there is now a section called Material Station, with a status of not connected. Flash Forge has definitely been listening to the community and have provided exactly what the customers have asked for. It's great to see a company that really listens to its community. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay tuned for a Flashmaker tutorial in the near future, and as always, Happy printing.